So this week, um, students studying the preliminary A Media Piano exam started a piece called Etude in A Minor by Lynn Cola. And Etude is a study. So it's a piece that we learn specific skills and they're super fun. So today I'm just going to do a bit of a demonstration video, a reminder video of what we did this week. And we'll start by having a look at the music together. So we haven't learned this one by looking at the music together, but what we have done is we've played some really interesting patterns. Because this piece is in A minor, we need to find our A's on the piano. So what we did in the lesson was we put some cute little piggy or unicorn erasers on the A's. So let's do that before we even start so that we can find where we need to be together. So here's my piano. There's a couple of different ways you can find A. Students know super easily where a C is, which is just before the group of two. So you can do the alphabet song C, big A. It's just a skip down. Or you can count up C, D, E, F, G, and then we start the alphabet again. But I find if you can't remember where A is, it's just as easy to find C and skip down. Great. Then we did a little warm up, a five finger warm up. So we're going to go up and down. It should sound sad. If you found the right note for A, then it will have that sad minor sound. A minor scale is our sound sounding scale. Okay. So once you've done your five finger warm up, right hand, left hand, both hands, we can practice some of what we did in our piece. Let's have a look at it with our eyes. We'll just see which bits we worked on in the lesson this week. And I'll do that by sharing the screen with you again. Now, just like our five finger warm up, a, B, C, D, C, D, C, D, A. Oh my goodness, there it is. A, B, C, D, E, D, C. And here it changes with that A. But if we just do the one, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one, that gets us this very first pink pattern. And if we look through the music, our composer has given us this pattern with a little change where I've made it green three times. Thank you, Louis, for giving us a lovely pattern to find. Okay, so in lesson this week, we just did the one, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one pattern. And as an extension activity, I'll show you this little green bit here. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one, two, three, four, five, four, three, one. Ooh, Louis put a cute little change in where it goes green. So let me show you that on the piano. So we can see where we do our one, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one, two, three, four, five, four, three, one. I'm slowing down to sing it. But what I want to do is keep that speed really consistent um, across the pattern. So here's my piggy, here's C. I'm going to skip down for A. Good, I'm in the right position. This is the right hand part. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, 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 three. I'm singing the finger numbers. We remember one is thumb, two, three, four, five. So we do this pattern three times in the piece. So let's do it three times now. One, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one, two, three, four, five, four, three, one. The three one is a lovely skip. C, A. And then one more time for good luck. Ready? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Until it becomes automatic. 
Now, in some of my classes, we also looked at the left hand that goes with this. If we didn't look at it in your class, that's fine. You can look at it with me now, and we can look at it together at your lesson. So the left hand part, I love. It's a broken A minor chord. A what? <laughs> All it needs is we're playing the A minor chord, A, C, B, but we're playing it in a super fun order. So I'm going to show you what it looks like in the music. And we've got A, B, C, B, A, B, C, B. So our finger numbers are going five, one, three, one, five, one, three, one. Let's see how many times Louis gives us the super fun broken A minor chord today. Five, one, three, one, five, one, three, one. Lovely. And here it is again, just under our other pink and green pattern. C, B, A, B, C, B, A, B. Okay, let's jump to the piano and let's play that one. So we need to find the right A. Now, what's really interesting in this piece, and I'll quickly go back and show you, um, is that both hands are reading treble correct. That doesn't mean we need two right hands because that would be super inconvenient because we only have one. It means that we're reading high notes for both parts. How cool is that? So let's find this A on the piano. So it helps if I stick my camera back, doesn't it? Here we go. Okay. So here's my treble A, skipping down from C. The A that's written for left hand is just below middle C. Here it is. So we did our warm up. So we're going to get our left hand and thumb is number one, two, three, four, five. There's my finger numbers. And we're going to play five, one, three, five, one, three, one. So I just sang the finger numbers. How about I sing the note names this time? A, C. Oh, I got it wrong. Ah, let's try again. A, C, C, B, A, B, C, B. Now, if you were in a group class this week, you might have done this as a duet with your teammates. Some of them played the left hand, some of them played the right hand. So can you practice this separate hands for me this week? So the right hand pattern. One, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one, two, three, four, five, four, three, one. And the left hand pattern. One. Oh man, I need a coffee. Five. You might like to try it together slowly. Okay, now, can you please let me know how you go with this? Let me know when your right hand pattern is confident, when your left hand pattern is confident. If you're having any troubles, let me know. Send me a message and I'll help you. And if you've accepted the two-hand challenge for this particular pattern, not for the whole thing, just for this pattern, can you send me some audio or video of how you go? Good luck. Reach out to me on Tanara and let me know how you've gone with our H's in A minor work this week.